Faith comes by hearing the word of God. Hearing comes by listening to the word of God. I pray you get faith the size of a mustard seed. Praise the Lord. Welcome to our Wednesday Bible study. If you're new here, please remember to subscribe and support our community. The Lord bless you so much for coming. I hope you have been having a blessed week. I hope the Lord has been with, with, with you and you also have been walking with the Lord. Okay, so in our Bible study for today, we are going to read Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 and that is going to form part of our Bible study. So let us read. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Praise the Lord. Recently while meditating on this verse, I decided to look at it closer to make sure I was getting all God wanted me to. Countless times over the years I have read, quoted, and had Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. It's a very well known passage of scripture from the Bible. For those of us who are familiar with it, it probably comes to our minds quickly and often especially during stressful times. While some of God's promises are unconditional, there are those that are conditional and this is one of them. There are actions we must take in order to experience the privilege of having God direct our paths. Trusting God with all our heart is a decision that we must make. Even after making a decision to trust God, we cannot accomplish this in our own strength. We must pray and ask him to help us. Whatever it is we may be going through, we must learn to immediately turn it over to him. That's the great thing about prayer. We can do it wherever we are. Even if we are at work, we can say a quick, simple prayer and ask God to help us, to trust him, to get through our day. There have been many days I didn't even feel like going to work. But I thank God I have a job and ask him to energize me and give me grace and the right attitude. Praise the Lord. Usually after a short time, I can look back and see a change in how I feel and I thank God for helping me. God then tells us to lean not on our own understanding. A lot of the times we want to know exactly what is going on. We want to know how things will work out. But in scripture we are told God's ways and thoughts are higher than ours. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 55 verse 8 to 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts, praise the Lord. God is working things out in ways we simply cannot understand. Sometimes he will choose to reveal to us what he is doing. But other times, we must trust him for the results and try not to figure everything out on our own. Praise the Lord. We must acknowledge him in all our ways. We can do this by making God a priority in everything that we do, which means we must include him in every part of our lives. We must pray often and ask him to show us areas of our lives well, we are not trusting him, and he will. Fear can hold us back from trusting in God with all our heart. So praying and asking him to take away fears will also be a big help for you. And that is all that is left for us is to believe that once we have done our part, he will then direct our paths. Praise the Lord. When God is directing our paths, we can rest assured that everything else will work out for our good. Praise the Lord. I hope you all have been blessed by this Bible study. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, please help us to trust in you with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding. Rabbi, I acknowledge you in all your ways. Thank you for directing our paths as you promised you will.
Please remove any fears that are holding us back from trusting in you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And everybody say, Amen. Thank you for coming to our Wednesday Bible study. I hope you have been blessed. See you again next Saturday. Goodbye. Faith comes by, hearing the word of God, hearing comes by, listening to the word of God, I pray you get faith the size of a mustard seed.